Kingdom, the Nightmare. It's an honor to be here tonight to roast my best friend, Ogan. I left the L off because you took the biggest L of your entire life on Saturday night. <laughs> ah. Where did you learn your boxing skills? UPS or FedEx? <laughs> my question is, there was a fake Ed Sheeran at your boxing match. Why didn't anybody let us know that there was going to be a fake boxer fighting in the boxing match? <laughs> oh. Okay, that was you, by the way. I mean, I thought I was a real boxer. I thought I was. Like, I'm a, I am, like, technically a professional boxer. Are you happy Maverick died before seeing you ruin the Maverick name? Hi. I would keep it short and sweet. Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> like me? Just like you, yeah. I don't get it. Because you're short and sweet. It's it's fucked up, bro. <laughs> you probably don't know this, but I wasn't sober for your fight. Thank God. <laughs> Being a dwarf and all, they sat me in the front row so I could see. After the second round, I politely asked them if they could move me to the back. <laughs> I sat next to your divorced parents, and I think they knew right away watching your fight was the worst decision they ever did together. I saw Justin Bieber walked out with you. Did you think uh, he wrote the song One Less Lonely Girl about you? Or the hit song I'm Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have sex for three months leading into the fight. Was that actually your way of saving it all for when you fucked yourself, me, and your entire fan base on Saturday night? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry I f***ed you, Mike. I'm sorry. Heard that one before. Oh, no. How does it feel knowing that Jake and Tana's marriage is more real than you as a fighter? <laughs> <laughs> we talked to a few of your ex-girlfriends, and they all said you never lasted more than two rounds. In some ways, was this a win? Now it's my turn. <clears throat> to my dear friend Mike, you know, I may have lost the fight, but at least I didn't lose my girlfriend to David Dobrik. <laughs> <laughs> Mac, you're my best friend from Ohio, That's it. but I've actually decided to replace you with Justin Bieber and send you back to Plymouth Rock, you <laughs> fucking pilgrim. <laughs> If I'm being honest, guys, this whole training camp has been a, like a roller coaster ride for me and for everyone at the camp, except for Evan, of course, because he wasn't tall enough to get on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I'm done with this. Okay, I get it. I'm the biggest pussy on the internet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. I, I lost. I took the L. KSI bested me in the boxing match. But you know what? For some reason, I, I, I've i been saying this in my interviews you guys may have seen. I just don't feel like I lost. And how could I? JJ and I came together to literally shift culture. This event was unprecedented. We showed the world how strong this uh, new age of digital media is. And you guys, us, the YouTube community, how strong we are when we come together. This fight was the most successful boxing fight the zone has ever had, even more so than their like traditional boxing fights. And we started from YouTube. Like I'm A, proud of us, the community. B, I think we made huge strides for boxing as well. We brought a ton of new eyes to it and took it seriously. Like we gave the, the sport the respect that it deserved. C, we put on a sick show. Like that, that was, it's entertainment, right? And it, I might be a little biased, but our fight was the most entertaining fight of the night. <laughs> and then D, most important, I'm healthy. JJ is healthy. Like, it doesn't look like I just got in a fight and beat the shit out of another human being for six rounds. My face is still good. My body's not sore. I didn't break any bones. My brain is not damaged. I think it's all good stuff. Great stuff, really. So, God, I mean, fuck.
Bro, I'm gonna do it now. Round of applause for myself and JJ and the whole YouTube community. We f***ing rock, dude. So yeah, dude, it's a win. It's a big win. Like I, like yeah, I lost. I lost the fight. Wink face. And quite possibly one of my favorite moments of the night. And I said this in my win speech. I I don't like being a dick. I like I do the press conferences and I turn into this like witty asshole to put on a good a good show and entertain you guys. But I don't like beef or drama. And uh, at the end of the day, KSI and I, we made up, we shook hands in the ring, and we settled it. You know, it's weird how it took bashing each other's skulls in to do that, but we did it. Yeah, that was a sick moment. For the first time in my life, when the announcer told JJ, he's like, yo, is the beef settled? And, and I remember just looking at him like you look at a girl when you ask her on a date and you're like waiting for the answer. And I was just so excited when like we dapped up and... And, and squashed it. And then also, Bieber came to the event, like Wiz Khalifa, Rick, Wa Rick Ross, Dan Bilzerian. Like, you guys gotta understand, I am, at the end of the day, like, f all the followers. Uh, not you guys, like, I love you guys, so f like, the, the number, like, the fact that I have a following, f that, all this, like, stuff I have, money, friends, girls, like, f all that. I'm a kid from a town in Ohio who planned on being an engineer for the rest of his life. And I thought that until I was 19 years old. I'm 24, all this has happened in five years of my life, like a small town kid, like like Frogger almost, like I'm like jumping through traffic and I just keep making it to the next level and next level. And so this is so surreal for me. All of this is so surreal for me and like, oh! Uh... Bieber came into the locker room beforehand, he said a prayer with us and then he walked me out. One of the coolest things ever and his public support for me is like, that means the world. The fact that he's able to, to put his neck out there for me and like, just keep supporting me no matter what. Uh, he posted me on his Instagram tw twice now, which is crazy. Bieber, I fucking love you, bro. I changed my bio. It's, it's just his believer now. And it's because I believe. I believe, dude. Like, how is any of this a loss? Like what? Because I didn't get my hand raised? The night bell. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here's the new thing, okay? New rule. I'm making it right now. Winning is for fucking losers. And losing is for winners. <laughs> you think people would buy that? But yeah, nah, I just don't feel like a loser. There's a lot of content I want to do around the fight, uh, like a proper breakdown, behind the scenes stuff that happened. It was quite the day, like this this whole training camp has been absolutely crazy. Like I said this before and I know it's been memed, but I woke up sick that day and it, it, if I'm being honest, completely destroyed my morale. Trust, I do not want to be the guy that's making excuses, but I'm gonna make excuses. <laughs> if you guys saw the fight, uh, the whole two points thing was one of them. And um, okay, this is like kind of delicate and a bit sensitive. So I didn't like prepare anything like I do for normal videos. I normally have like beats to hit. So I'm just gonna speak from the heart. I asked my videographer Andre to leave the room because I don't know where this is gonna go. But you know, I've been saying I I don't I don't feel like I lost. Because I really don't. Like I'm I'm smiling. I'm not like depressed. I don't feel like my career is over, like, w which was the big threat, or like I, I was made into a meme. The only meme that happened was because I said I sneezed three times. But like, I'm going out, I'm enjoying my life again, and um, every day I, I get passed by people, I get phone calls, I get texts, tagged in some video online that, that says like, yo, Logan, you didn't, you didn't lose that fight. That was bullshit. The ref made an erroneous call, or it was like in, misinterpreted by the judges. I thought you won the fight, you should have won the fight, whatever. Just like a slew of extremely one-sided opinions about the outcome of the fight. Being 100% honest with you, I have not heard or seen one comment, not even from KSI's side, or like the British fans that have said the two points was the right call. And to give you guys some context as to why this is such a big deal, I'm gonna try not to get like too technical with boxing scores, but we might have to, so uh, bear with me. The fight was a split decision. The two points that were deducted from me in round four. Let's say he let me off with a warning. By the way, I think he should have done because uh, he had not given me any prior warnings to pre prior to that. If that had happened, I would have won the fight. It would have been a split decision with two judges ruling it in my favor. Now let's say the ref deducted only one point for the tap in the back of the head on JJ. It would have been a majority draw. But the two point deduction was the reason that I full out split decision lost the fight. To the winner by split decision from the United Kingdom, the Knight Bell.
this is tricky for me because um, I my, my initial reaction was and I sat with this for a little bit my initial reaction was to fight it and and contest it and you know try my hardest to to make this right but I decided to let it go and give JJ the benefit of the doubt kind of go hands off give the man his 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 win like he deserved it he's a f fighter he's a fucking warrior a true animal and so I posted on Instagram publicly I'm like yo congrats to the champ and so I took the back seat and I was gonna let life work itself out and then I'm just getting bomb Barded. Thousands of people, fans, boxing fanatics, friends, random people on the street um, driving by me in cars or at the restaurant that I'm at, telling me that the outcome of the fight just wasn't right. I did some research and the last time two points were taken away from a professional fight was like over a decade ago. Doesn't happen a lot. One of the times that it happened was when Mike Tyson bit Evander Holyfield's ear off and spit it on the floor, which is one of the nastiest thing that's, things that's ever happened in boxing. And here I am getting two points deducted from me for like a, a, like a, like a love tap and that I was like a heat of the moment, just like a pissed off, I'm in fight mode. It's one of those situations where the punishment just simply did not fit the crime. <laughs> this is pretty funny. This is still of the ref deducting two points and I'm standing there and I know this is like probably ruined the fight for me. It, it is my first professional debut. To be honest with you, I have no like real idea of what I'm doing and it's a six round fight. Do you know how hard it is to earn back two points in a six round fight? Assuming no one's going to get knocked out or knocked down. It just put me at the bottom of a mountain that when I looked up, I wasn't sure I could overcome it and horrifically i was right and jack reese who is the ref is apparently like one of the best the california state athletic commission has and one of the best boxing refs so i don't want to like i don't want to dog the guy and i don't want i don't want you all to blow up his spot he even said it in the locker room after i spoke to him at length he said if he if he if he's made a mistake he's down to correct it and that's i wanted you guys to hear this from me first my team and i have decided to uh file an official appeal for for the fight because we just don't believe that the outcome was right i i and, and and that that is and strikes me resonates with me to my core and one of my biggest fears with this whole thing is being a sore loser and that's why i'm making this video a week after the fight is because I, I really had to check myself and make sure i wasn't doing this because i was afraid of losing and historically we've seen guys like i've taken big l's massive l's by no means am i afraid of losing i've in fact, I welcome it because it's the only way I tend to experience growth in my life. But I truthfully, 100% believe I did not lose this fight. If I am harassed and belittled for speaking my mind or speaking out about something that I think is right, like again, God strike me down for doing this horrible thing, but I have to ask myself often in my life because like I, I, I've, I've reached this weird point where I like, I'm too nonchalant about things sometimes. Like I just like, don't give a fuck, to be honest. And at first I was definitely like this. And then ah, my, my stomach just started turning over the fact that like, I don't believe the outcome was correct on this. And I think if I stood by and didn't do anything about it, or at least like try, I'd be, I'd be way disappointed with myself. I'm making this video for two reasons. One, to man up and say I'm doing it versus standing by and you guys finding out via Twitter and it becoming some sort of meme, like Logan Paul's a sore loser. Like, you know, I'll tell you right now, like, I just don't think I lost and I would like for the outcome of this fight to be dictated the way it should be. And then B, um, this is a just a, a, a plea to the California State Athletic Commission. I, I would just hope that you guys give this the weight that I think it deserves because I fear that since we aren't real professional fighters, it may be overlooked, but I know this means a lot to me. I know this means a lot to my team, my friends, and most importantly, my fans and the fans that watched um, the great sport of boxing and the event that we put on on Saturday. Andy Foster, I'm talking to you, man. I know you're a good guy. And uh, if the, even if the outcome does not come back in my favor, please treat it as a uh, normal boxing appeal. To be completely transparent with you guys, I have gone back and forth on this video for this whole week. I've been losing sleep over this. It's tough because like, I don't, again, I don't mind 
losing, especially to JJ. Like that is a worthy adversary. That dude is a is a G. He's an animal. And like I said in my tweet, like I cannot wait to see what he does next. I wish him only the greatest success. But if I don't stand up for something that I feel is right, what kind of fucking man am I? That is not the type of man I want to be. That's not the type of leader I want to be. That's not the type of father I want to be. So yeah, I'm gonna fight for for what I believe in. Again, I think I think I said everything. Um, like I said, this video is delicate and it is just super unfortunate, a split decision, and we're back here with this with this controversial win that JJ had. I said I was done with controversy, and all the headlines are like, Logan Paul, controversial, split decision, loss. Well, like, why can I just not avoid some sort of controversy? Ah, life, dude. This is a weird one for me. This is tricky. This is tricky. Regardless, we put on a fucking good show. You saw the beginning of the video, like, you know, I'll be all right. I'll be back in the boxing ring. Boxing. It's where I'll be <laughs> in the ring. Boxing. All right, fuck, dude, we passed 20 million subscribers. That's dope. But if you're not subscribed, uh, subscribe. And uh, I'll be doing a proper boxing breakdown review later. And maybe a mini doc about the day, the whole day leading up to the fight. Cause it was, I mean, it, it is, it was horrible. But we'll talk more about that later. All right, um, I think that's it. I'll probably just sit here until I decide to uh, stop the camera. From the United Kingdom, the Okay.